Today, I want to show you a trick for managing email, and it's specifically going to take advantage of Google Contacts. In my role, I often have to email groups of participants who attended a particular training to follow up with them, or if it's an ongoing training to check in from time to time. And I have found myself struggling every time I need to go email someone um, or a group of people, I have to go back through my attendance records and I need to find those emails again and again. So we actually can create a label in Google Contacts to make this process so much easier so that I don't always have to go back and find all of the emails that I need to, to put into an email each time I need to send a communication to a group of people. So let me show you how that looks. So in order to upload contacts, I need to go to contacts.google.com. I can import contacts individually. I can create one at a time, but in the case of a training or a group of people, I can also import multiple contacts at the exact same time. To do that, the easiest way is to create a CSV file. So I actually have a Google sheet open here with the participants' names, first and last, and the email that I have um, attributed to them. So all I need to do is from this file, I'm going to go ahead and download it as a comma separated value file or CSV. I know that you can make a CSV file from many different um, applications, Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, you have lots of choices. Um, a lot of times as well, data is provided to you in a CSV file already. So if you have data that you want to upload into Google Contacts, a CSV file is the easiest way um, to get those contacts in. Once I have the CSV file downloaded, I'm gonna go back here to Google Contacts and I'm gonna create multiple contacts. So here it says, if I have a CSV or a vCard file, I can import them. So I'm gonna click import and I'm gonna select a file. So there's my participants, just like you saw them on the Google Sheet. Now, before I import though, I wanna apply a label because this is a group that I want to be able to contact simultaneously. So I'm gonna click on label and I'm gonna create a new label. Okay, so this is my clubhouse crew. And so once I type that, I go ahead and click outside of that box. And now everybody that's on that uh, participant CSV file is going to be uploaded. The information from the CSV file will be put into Google Contacts along with the label clubhouse. So I'm gonna click import. Now what's great is it's going to put those contacts into my Google Contacts. You'll see that they have two labels right now. They have the date they were imported, and they have the label that I assigned. What I love about Google Contacts is I can actually put multiple labels. Um, if I decided that I needed to, or, or if I had a individual who was on multiple lists that I needed to email different times, um, maybe they are a facilitator who's facilitating more than one group of participants. I can put as many labels as I want onto a participant. That way then it gets pulled into the correct group each time I need to email them. So I have my, my label, I have our clubhouse label all ready to go, but now let's see how that really improves our workflow back over in Gmail. And I'm going to start typing the name of the label I just applied to the group that I made. There it is, clubhouse. When I hit enter, it pulls all the emails that were assigned to that label right into the email. I love this option because I can still edit who gets this email. Um, if one of the people that I had previously labeled doesn't need to be a part of this label anymore and I just haven't had a chance to update the contacts, that's okay. Because I can see each of them individually and I can remove somebody from the send list before I send the email. I love using Google Contacts because I feel like it's a lot easier to modify my list. Adding labels, removing labels, updating contacts, it's just a much easier platform and so I can have those groups be very fluid based on my needs. I hope that helps your email uh, workflow. If you are somebody who has to email groups of people, you've, you're managing a lot of contacts, as opposed to making a Google group, this is another way to easily send out communication in to a lot of people just by utilizing the labels in Google Contacts. Have a great day.